Let's do a night drive video, guys. Oh, oh my God. Uh, I probably... I, it, this, was a, this was a tough week. This is very tough. Um, and then, you know, to cap it all off, the world, the world is going to shit in a handbasket. This is, it's craziness. Um, with the Supreme Court and then like, um, I don't even want to say who, but there's a bunch of people that seem to be doing old school coups where they just show up with, uh, some guns and some thugs and they just try to take over the government. So in the Congo in Bolivia and a bunch of other places too and I, I was talking to Sherry like, I, I don't, the, the Supreme Court case was the one that really got me because it was like so so who's in charge of when ExxonMobil or Chevron in this case does something like insanely terrible to the environment and to poor people oh there's no recourse oh there's no regulation there's nobody there to help you fight up against this giant multi-billion dollar you know trillion dollar conglomerate that just owns everybody no 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 help for you nothing <laughs> no regulations no no it, it, it'll just make us more money and it, it's so creepy it's like this you know last minute left turn that um, Sherry and I love sci-fi and, uh, you know, we, we, what was the one, the continuum? I liked that. We liked that one. That one was, um, uh, that one was produced in Canada. I don't know, um, uh, if it was written by a Canadian dude, but it like, it stars like all the Canadian dudes and they shoot the, the whole thing. in I think Toronto and Vancouver and, uh, it's a good show. It's, it's, it's very, it's, it was low budget. Yes, yes, yes. But, the, you know, it's got a hot chick in it. And, uh, she's American. Is she American? Yep. Oh, well, there you go. Good choice. <laughs> <laughs> like Americans are made of the rest of the world. Like, it's like, we're the best. <laughs> but, um, uh, the lessons in the continuum are just, you know, it's, it's the point where you turn humans into robots. And then you make those robots make other robots. And then, you know, then everybody's just slaves because the corporations want it this way. And uh, it has to deal with time travel. And it's, it, of course, it's interesting. And um, the guy that actually benefits the most of it, his, the main character is named Eric. Um, he actually sends the chick, he sends her back in time to talk to younger version of himself, right? to like try to talk him out of doing all the nerd shit that he does to like help the man, help the machine. Oh, God, I'm gonna have to watch it. Yeah. Too. So I, I recommend it, whatever platform it's streaming on. It's a good show though. I think they only did like three seasons. Um, and then on the third season was the one that had the biggest production budget and it shows. Um, and then they just wrapped up all the storylines and everything like that, so. But uh, the other one is The Peripheral. So I highly recommend that one. That one is on Amazon. That was their baby. And they killed it. They were like, nope. Enough of that shit. Some of that was the, uh, what was it, the mini plague we had? What was it? COVID. Yeah. Some of it was that. Some of it was some other stuff. Some of it was the uh, writer's strike and all that kind of stuff. But uh, all that stuff is, is basic today is basically true all that stuff um uh the, the people that are in charge i i again i don't i don't want to have to explain it to you because if you don't understand what is on the horizon now after these after again after the way that these judges act and it's not just the supreme court it's like all these judges just seem to just be ridiculous they're like we need to eat all the babies, none for you, poor people. Babies are the future, and we are eating all of them. Like, I don't I don't understand this. Like, maybe, uh, I don't know. Anyways, um, I, I, I would introduce you guys to CJ, uh, I think it's Tr Trowbridge, 
CJ Tro Bridge, T R O W Bridge. So CJ was on a reality show that was doing, I think they did six towns like this. What they do is they get, basically they make a commune slash uh, sex cult, not sex cult, but um, they create these little um, sustainable communities where people can, you know, when, when the world goes to shit, um, you got to know how to deal with the poo poo and the water and how to get food and how to help, you know, with shelter and how to help your neighbor to survive. And, um, man, I, again, I, I just like, I'm exhausted just thinking about it. And that's why one of the reasons why I wanted to watch, I just wanted to zone out and watch, uh, wind press. So he's playing Wormate right now and it's, it's so inviting. He's such a fun little guy and it's just fun to watch a worm eat candy so but um isn't it i mean it is it's so fun uh get the candy it's the easiest thing to just let your brain melt away but um uh oh yeah i've been having a couple of uh like i used to do butthole of the month right but there's been so many buttholes lately especially in the comments oh my god and again I just give a little heart to them like um, just some of the things they say but I'll, I'll tell you about it real quick because some of the experience where did you want to go babe oh, why did you Look, know? let's go to the Dairy Queens okay. let's, I feel like a treat man it's just like fucking I want, a, I want some blizzard and it's six dollar blizzard Jesus Christ it's a fucking six dollar blizzard it's insane, but it's good. It's so good. <clears throat> oh my god, this guy's riding my ass. I guess I'll put on my turn signal and let you know that I'm turning. Jesus Christ. There you go. Here he comes. Here he comes. Go for it. Where are you going? That's right. You're going to the same place I am. To a red light. So anyways, go check out CJ. I don't agree with everything he says, but he's he's funny and he's entertaining and he's smart and it's just fun to watch him use his little handsome brain to do stuff. And uh, and it's fun to hear what he's passionate about. I'm always, I'm actually excited about what people find passionate. Um, it's very strange. Earlier we were talking about, um, well, because again, it was something that CJ said where he was talking about that the way that this this path now that we're on is like the boomers feel like they're they're dying which they are and they need to do this last push to to tell us that abortion is bad but money is good and Jesus is our friend and if you don't like Jesus we're going to shove it right up your pee hole uh, and make you love it um, it's this creepy weird thing that all the boomers seem to be doing and um I was, I was talking to Sherry about how, like in my own experience, I, I never really had uh, a relationship with my father uh, as an adult before he died, and uh, uh, I mean he told me some nuggets, but most of most of them were about my crazy mom. Um, the, the way that I, I think about my mom now, like because I've w- like before I like broke up with her this last time, uh, or I guess it was the time before the, this last one. But, um, uh, like we would go over there on Sundays for like dinner and like hang out and just watch a movie or something like that and chit chat and, you know, just as adults. And, um, some of the times now she doesn't drink, but sometimes she would act like she had been drinking or something like that. And she would just start giving her opinion about some wild shit. And I was like, wow, I do not remember you being this fucking racist. And, uh, and I, you, you know, so in polite conversation, when you're at a party or something like that, and someone is like racist, so do not, do not call them out. Do it's, it's, listen, go get another drink, chill the fuck out. It's, it's more fun to give them more rope. Okay. It's, it's more, it's entertaining and it's actually probably better for them. Um, if you don't call them out, cause they're waiting for somebody to call them out so they can be all defensive. But, um, uh, what you want to do is, uh, 
just go, hmm, that's interesting. <laughs> I did not know that about Hitler. So, <laughs> um, uh, let me let me pause this real quick. Ooh, Mama's Daredevil. I got her a blizzard she never had before. It's the, was it peanut butter cookie, cookie party? party. Fourteen oh six for two medium lizards. So, and then what did I? Which one did I get? I got uh, ultimate, ultimate cookie. cookie. Comes with nutter butter, nutter chips butter, ahoy, chips ahoy, and Oreo. And your mom's sweet pubes. They have a new Oreo. Out. Her banana, frosted pubes. Banana cream pie. Banana, there you go. Good cream pie for your mom. Let's play the spoon. No, Mama, no playing the spoons. Um, so, boomers saying weird shit. Somebody uh, racist at a party or at a, like even just a dinner party. Um, <clears throat> so, I, the way that I handle it now is I just like, um, I just call my mom retarded. Like, she's just retarded. She's mentally retarded. Um, she can't help herself. You know, I don't know if you ever had like a cousin or a sibling that was, had Down syndrome or even like Tourette's and you know, you just go, oh, they're, they're retarded, it's okay. These are actually pretty big for being mediums, so. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, she, I just, you know, in my mind, I just go, oh, she's retarded, it's okay. If you guys have pity for her, she doesn't really know what's going on. She still thinks Jimmy Carter is president. And she's cursing him out for being a pussy. Can't be nice when you're president. That's not what the Richies want. The Richies want someone evil and powerful. Mm -hmm. And this November, you get your choice. How evil and rich and powerful do you want? You want a pussy grabber? Or you want a hair sniffer? <laughs> Take your pick, dummies. Only voting is for slaves. The whole thing is, is just garbage bullshit. And again, I get so annoyed with you guys. Today I was like, I was telling Cherry earlier about, um, there was this um, like Mexican dude that had a, um, a nice truck and he was like speeding up and cutting me off and all that stuff. And I was like, hey, I don't like that. And then I was like, Patrick, that sounds racist. And then I was like, is it racist? And I go, okay, now picture a black guy doing that. And I go, yep, him and his fucking Hellcat. I don't like that shit either. And I go, okay, now picture a white guy doing it. And I go, nope, I don't like that fucking bro and his stupid side-by-sides and his motorcycles and all that other bullshit. Get the fuck out of here. And I'm like, so, okay, not racist. What is it? And I'm like, it's, it's ostentatiousness. It's people who are celebrating, like, like that's the, it's the status. It's the status. It's like, so you choose to use your money to rub it in everyone's face. Like, how gross and petty are you? And uh, I was like, Patrick, that sounds pretty judgmental. And I was like, it is. I'm like, I'm sticking with it. <laughs> um, but, you know, the, the and you got the typical characters. Uh, BMW owners, Mercedes owners, Lexus owners, like luxury cars. And then... Um, uh, people that drive Jeeps, I, no, no, just, you're gay, it's okay, it's okay to be gay, it's okay to be gay, no, nobody straight drives a Jeep, that's, that's all, that's just the rules, why would you drive something that impractical, the other alternative, the, the buy alternative is the FJ Cruiser, that means you're like, still in the closet about being gay, it's like, you're gay, you just, you think you're better than other people, so you drive an FJ Cruiser, um, but yeah, there's a lot of like lifted trucks and all that kind of stuff. They're like, Patrick, you shouldn't say those things. Those are your customers. I don't have customers. I have friends. And if you don't want to be my friend, that's fucking fine. I'm okay with that. So back to back to Crazy Lenny. Um, so I was picturing myself at, at the dinner party with Len and she starts talking about Fox News says this and Fox News says that and blah, blah, blah. And you're like, this bitch is crazy. And... Um, uh, then I start talking about, you know, like Len's like enough about me. Actually, she would never say that, but, um, let's pretend that she does. She says enough about me, Patrick, tell me what's going on with you. And I, and I start telling her all this rad shit that I'm doing. And she's like, ah, 
you're a loser. You're never going to accomplish anything. You're never accompli- you're never going to accomplish any of those dreams. And I'm like, that's not the point. And then people like that don't understand. Uh, I actually got to meet, uh, uh, I texted somebody today where they saw the intro video on the, the front page of the YouTube channel. And um, I think it was his mom, he said. And she goes, that guy is cool. And I was like, yes, that's, that's, and I'm not, and I'm not trying to be cool. That's not, that's not the point. Watch the video. It's just about being an honest and kind person that wants to help other people. Uh, I, I, I cannot help that people like, like my mom thinks that I'm a loser for, for thinking that it's like, you know, it's, it's sort of like, uh, my dad always wanted to be to have a, uh, like a, um, I guess it was more macho, but it was like, like more of a killer instinct. And I'm like, you know, like looking back on it now, I'm like, you know, killing's like wrong, right? Like that's not, that's not what you should be doing, you know? And, uh, um, again, in my head, you know, my dad's voice is like, you're stupid. You're a pussy. You're gay. And I'm like, okay, thanks. 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 Pops. Good. Good. Having a talk with you, uh, every once in a while. And, uh, um, again, it was just one of those things where, uh, and I, I believe me, I understand that I identify with a lot of gay people. Um, most of it is just because I was not allowed to be nice. I was not allowed to be sweet. I was not allowed to be, um, all the things that they, they put, they put me, they, listen, they did not ask me if I wanted to be in scouts. They just put me in scouts. Like, this will be good for you. And then if you listen to what the scouts, uh, turn on your lights, dude. Um, uh, all the things that they tell you to be in the scouts, right? Those are good things in this world. But then you look at what they did to the scouts, right? And then also if, if, a, if you're a Boy Scout, like if you were one of those guys that was a Boy Scout and then you wore your uniform to school, oh man, they were going to give it to you. Like you're as bad as those people that joined ROTC. Um, now, uh, looking back on it, I, I wish I had more enthusiasm for uh, extracurricular clubs like theater or math nerds, mathletes or whatever and stuff like that. And I was, I was actually really good at stuff like that. But again, because I was not allowed to be, there was, there was no environment available for no safe place. There you go. There was no safe place for me to be me without lots of criticism and judgment. Um, I was never able to develop that. And the, the irony now is that I piss off boomers. And then I also piss off I don't know what you call it. I don't, Gen Z, Gen X, whatever, whatever, no, Gen Z, Gen Alpha, whatever, younger people. Younger people, you guys are retarded. You're just dumb. You don't understand. And then uh, the, the the boomers, you are old and retarded and you think you know everything. And they're like, oh, okay, Patrick, sweet. You know everything. Let's hear it. And I'm like, actually, I actually have a lot of really great ideas, but uh, because everything's so corrupt, it becomes quite difficult to do anything that... Uh, is about transparency and about getting rid of secrecy and things like that and about being accountable. So, uh, and if I, if I die trying, that's okay. That's a good thing. I, I'm turning. Mm-hmm. There's the trash. They always hate it when, and then I, I put on my, I, it's funny too. People stop. If there's a median, just so you know that if there's like that, that, that concrete barrier, between one side of the street and the other side of the street, you do not have to s- slow down or stop for the fire, whatever, for emergency vehicles. You do not, okay? Just so you know. Now, if there's not a, a, a median in there, yes. You you have to stop, like it's for the, the uh, short bus, the long bus, the school bus, whatever, um, yes. City bus, no. When the city bus stops at the, the railroad, you can just buzz around them, it doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, you don't have to stop when there's a, uh, median, but enough ranting. I love you guys. The world is, uh, going to shit town and, uh, I'm just, I'm just going to try to get the fuck out of here. So, but (laughs) have a great weekend. We'll talk more. Love you. Bye.